assault and batteries, but my trunk stay ever ready. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. Okay, this video is gonna be about WrestleMania 31, and it's crazy to believe that uh, 2014 is just three, four months to go, and we're starting 2015, and once January 2015 hits, we're on the road to WrestleMania. The Undertaker has always been the biggest part of WrestleMania. Every single year, people wonder who is the Undertaker gonna face, but now this kind of begs the question, since the streak's broken, what does The Undertaker do? Does he come back? Is he gone? Is he retired? And for me, I do think there's one more Undertaker match left. Um, whether it be in 31, whether it be a 32, you're going to see him in one of those years and it's going to be his final match. Uh, does he get revenge on Brock Lesnar or does he go on a different route and go kind of towards the Sting or John Cena path? And for me... Typical WWE booking if he wants to get revenge on Brock Lesnar is, and this was on a podcast too, and I thought it made pretty good sense, except it is kind of out there, but the way the WWE kind of works, it, it would very much, I can very much see it happen. Uh, you have Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. I think that's pretty much going to be the main event for WrestleMania. You have Brock Lesnar beat Roman Reigns, and uh, Paul Heyman comes in, starts cutting a promo. Brock Lesnar can't be beat. He beat John Cena this month, this month, he beat this guy this time, this time. And then the lights go off, the bell hits, and Taker makes his way down to the ring. And you have your title match. Undertaker wins, pretty much retires as champion. And then the next night, you pretty much start a tournament to crown a new champion where Roman Reigns would come in, and there you go. You have Sting versus The Undertaker. Both guys say, you know, this is our last match against each other. This has been a WrestleMania dream match, and it's going to be our last match. So that's one way and another way. And I think this would have worked a lot better if it was um, Taker Streak was still intact. You have John Cena as the WWE Champion versus Brock, not Brock Lesnar, The Undertaker who has his streak that's intact. Streak versus title. But on top of that, you have Taker's retirement. It's all or nothing. You want the title. I want your career and I want your streak and that's that's if WWE really wants to put Cena as like the mega heel or something but Lesnar could have done it too if he was champion at that time so you have John Cena beat The Undertaker takes the uh, streak takes his career now John Cena is your biggest bad guy in the company that's another situation but those are just three possibilities um but in reality honestly i don't see taker doing wrestlemania this year if it is with sting it's with sting but for uh something inside me tells me that you're gonna have the texas stadium you're gonna have close to a hundred thousand people there that just has money written all over it what a memorable place to retire talks of stone cold steve austin there you have austin's match return match takers retirement match uh, wrestlemania 32 could possibly be the biggest wrestlemania of all time just with those two guys on the card together so that's all i'll uh, let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next video